In this lecture, I will show you a simplest way of design of shear wall in ETABS. So here, and that is the plan view. I will open the elevation and grid one. Apply. Okay. So now I am going to define uh, material property I will take at is uh, as it is 4060 grade steel now I will define the section properties here wall section here is a predefined wall I will create a new wall wall 8 inch okay so here I have put the value 8 inch thickness okay and here is the modifiers as per ACI, if you are designing a concrete wall, then you have to use the property modifier 0.7 in bending. Okay. Okay. So that's how you will define the wall. Now I will draw the wall. Okay. For drawing the wall, so these are the options here draw floor uh, slash wall. Okay. Or here is a quick draw wall. In, as a rectangular okay so now one story has been selected 8 inch okay one two three four and six okay so you have seen software automatically pick the uh, foundations at the uh, bottom level so i will select all these ports and go to assign joint restraints fixed restraints apply okay so now i will define the load patterns here i will just for the demonstration pick it at sorry earthquake okay here I will pick seismic and here I will pick UBC 97 a new load modify I will not change the properties I will take it as it is because I have discussed all the load patterns in the previous lectures okay 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 so earthquake load is automatically applied so now I will define the peer label before de defining the pier level, I will create some opening and divide the shell into smaller elements. Here, I will select all the walls. Okay. So now go to edit, edit shells, divide shells. Here, I will divide the shells in the x direction into three and the y direction into two. Means uh, here you will see apply. Okay okay in the for example here is a panel one two three in the x direction one two in the y direction okay i will select all these ports again go to assign joint restraint apply okay so now i will delete uh, i will delete uh, some i will create some opening by deleting some elements okay here I have uh, deleted the elements okay similarly I have deleted the elements here like that now I will delete uh, from here for example okay so that's how I have created the openings in the shear wall okay so now I will define the peer labels why I am defining the peer label because for the designing of shear wall in e tabs, e tabs understand that this wall need to be designed if the labels of peers have been assigned. Okay, otherwise software will not design if you do not have assigned the peer labels. Okay, for the understanding, for better understanding as per uh, the software, here is the official website. Okay, here you can uh, clearly understand what is peer labels. Okay. So here P1, okay, for example, P1, P1. So all these labels horizontally act as a single wall. All the top elements will act as a single wall, means its width of the wall will be from left to right. And for P2 wall, 
P2 PL double wall left to right. Okay. Uh, here P3 from this opening to this opening and here P5 will be from this opening to this this end to this end okay so each pair label is uh, is associated with its story level okay these pair labels are associated with, associated with these story level le story level it's not related to other story okay you can repeat in the other story okay and second is the pair uh, spandrels so what is pair and spandrels a little bit difference okay here is a uh, concrete wall okay so here you can see the uh, there is a, at the end columns okay so these columns act as a boundary elements okay so there is a necessity uh, there are two approaches for the providing of boundary elements and uh, that is one is shear base another is the displacement base so that i will discuss in the next lectures so here is the wall section here is a wall which is a uh, continuous wall and here is the openings okay so here is opening 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 okay uh, sorry this opening this opening this op this opening and here is the remaining concrete wall which is connecting the two walls this is called the coupling being or in the software language that is a spandrel okay so for the connect connecting uh, shear wall we have to assign it as a spandrel labels okay so i will also define First of all, I will create the pair labels P1, now P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, P7. Okay. Now I will select these walls and go to assign shell okay here is pair label okay i am assigning to this wall pair labels p1 okay let me select again sorry p1 apply so now i will select the second wall that is p2 okay so here I will select these uh, common walls as a single uh, peer label that is I am defining the P4 and here the remaining wall again I am selecting P6 okay and for this remaining uh, here I will also define the peer label that is P3 apply okay and here the connecting element I will assign this pendrel label software will design this peer label as a wall okay and here uh, the connecting element i will define as a, a spandrel okay so how define spandrel labels s1 s2 s3 okay so now i am signing this wall as a assign shell spandrel label s1 apply okay now this one is also s1 apply and this one i am changing to s2 okay so software will design these all the wall elements as a uh, pair or wall sections and these are the connecting elements s1 s2 okay so i have defined all i will save my model okay shear wall design okay i have saved my model loading have been assigned so i can apply more loading but earthquake loading is enough in the load pattern okay so now i will go in the define load combinations i will click add default design combination concrete frame design oh sorry uh, concrete shear wall design convert to user ready table okay so here we can see software has created the load combinations okay there is no live load but we can apply the live load ok 
के असाइन जॉइंट लोड्स फोर्स इन द लाइफ लोड आई एम अप्लाइंग द वर्टिकल माइनस टेन किप डाउनवर्ड ओके अप्लाई ओके नाउ लाइव लोड इज आल्सो प्रेजेंट आई एम सेविंग द मॉडल अगेन नाउ आई बिफोर रनिंग द एनालिसिस एंड डिज़ाइन सॉफ्टवेयर डिज़ाइन द शेयर वॉल्स बाय डिफॉल्ट एज ए फॉर एग्जांपल आई हैव क्लिक दिस शेयर वॉल गो टू डिज़ाइन शेयर वॉल डिज़ाइन ओके व्यू स्लैश रिवाइज पियर अवर राइट्स ओके यूनिफॉर्म रिनफोर्सिंग मैथड सॉफ्टवेयर बाई डिफॉल्ट डिज़ाइन the shear wall by uniform reinforcing method there are also two other methods simplified and at and c method and general reinforcing method that that is i will discuss in the next lecture okay so now i will take uh, as it is uniform reinforcing method okay now i will run analysis okay analysis is complete okay now i will run design shear wall design start design slash check okay okay now you can see i am closing the one wall here this wall i have assigned the single label so that's why software designed it separately to this wall software has designed separately this portion of wall and this portion of wall software has designed separately and these two portions of the walls i have signed the same pair level so software have calculated the one value from this end to this one end to top wall okay similarly here so for this spandrel so definitely i will also show first of all to see the detail report you will just right click okay on the values software will show the detail report okay uh, what is the section value thickness value material property design code okay flexure values design okay axial uh, axial load moment values uh, governing design combination okay here is the shear design okay applied shear shear capacity that is okay so okay here uh, boundary element check either boundary element are required or not boundary element these either at the end columns are required or not okay so these all the checks are present in this uh, calculation report by e tabs okay now you can also see the flexure shear all the details here display design info okay here the longitudinal reinforcement present in inch inch square okay this is the inch square values okay so if you want to calculate the reinforcement in any section for example for this wall section from this end to this end okay i will right click here for that uh, longitudinal reinforcement is re required 1.92 inch square okay in the what length uh, 96 inch length okay so how to calculate the longitudinal reinforcement okay 96 inch length okay required reinforcement is uh, 1.96 1.96 inch square divided by area of number 4 bar that is uh, 0.2 okay so means 9.8 or total 10 bars are required okay so total 10 bars are required so total length is 96 inch if we provide the two uh, phase reinforcement on the two phase means here one on the left phase and or uh, one layer of steel on the right phase for that okay i will 9.8 so total length is 96 okay i will divide to 2 means 5 bars on each side okay 96 divided by 5 okay so 19 inch 19.2 is center to center spacing of bars will be provided in the longitudinal direction okay so same can be provided in the other direction for example in this longitudinal direction that is in number 4 at the rate of 19 inch center to center so for in this direction okay uh you can also provide the same reinforcement okay okay uh 
here is the criteria that you can provide in the other direction also uh, i will recommend please uh, read the structural concrete theory and design by nadeem that is a very good book okay if here uh, if hw mean height of the wall divided by length of the wall okay if uh, that is less than uh, 2 if that is less than 2 here if hw or lw is less than 2 then you can provide the same reinforcement in the both direction okay means longitudinal and transverse direction same reinforcement okay so now uh, that is a longitudinal reinforcement similarly you can see the peer reinforcing ratio that is the row values okay now peer demand to capacity ratios then peer shear reinforcement okay second peer widths required for boundary elements okay for this uh, shear wall because due to very less loading uh, because i have just uh, shown the simplified example so that's why uh, due, due to not heavy loading no boundary elements are required if you increase the loading then definitely boundary elements will be needed okay similarly spandrel longitudinal reinforcement now spandrel elements are this one this one this one to those i have assigned the uh, uh, spandrel label okay so these will act as a coupling beam between two walls okay here apply here you can see the spandrel label okay so now uh, i will recommend please do not use the same spandrel label on this uh, on on the same level uh, for example you can use the s1 and s2 alternate do not use on the same level okay so here i am click right clicking the uh, spandrel calculations spandrel means coupling beam here the top reinforcement, bottom reinforcement, spandrel, shear design means shear reinforcement. Okay. So, and there are also other uh, spandrel diagonal shear reinforcement. Okay. Here, di not required diagonal. So, here, diagonal reinforcement is required. What is diagonal reinforcement? Let me show you here. Means diagonal reinforcement is also required. Okay. Other than top bottom reinforcement shear reinforcement diagonal reinforcement is required okay so further uh, there is one beautiful function of detailing you can also generate the detailing okay so here drawing wall sections okay individual wall here is a wall elevation so it is showing the reinforcement all bars okay here is a wall section similarly here wall elements wall layout okay to which elements of are saying cw1 cw2 cw3 so you can see all the values okay reinforcement Okay, even you can see the cage view of walls, for example, CW1. Okay, here you can see the cage reinforcement also. So that's all for the shear wall design. For further detail about other methods of shear wall design, I will discuss in the next lecture. So that's all. Have a nice day.